stuff is uh, Joseph Giglio. The professor's not here. Uh, Lisa Interlandi. Welcome back. You know, if someone hadn't moved forward on buying land in the EIA, we wouldn't be doing the uh, restoration strategies and the water quality work we're doing on the Talisman property. If you think that that was an easy purchase to move forward on or that it was non-controversial or that everyone was in support of it, it wasn't. It was a big deal when it happened back then, and we're asking you to make a similar effort today. You know, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's not like you can just say, oh, you know what, we'll get the next piece of land in the EIA that comes available. Because how often does that happen? Pretty much never. So if you skip this one, you're pretty much eliminating uh, the ability to restore the Everglades for our whole generation. <clears throat> so um, we want you to move forward with it. You should ask your staff to come back with a proposal. If you don't have enough information today, come back with a proposal. Instead of asking your staff to look at the constraints, ask your staff to look at the opportunities, because I know that they can do that. They are able to do more than just identify the constraints and the reasons why you guys can't move forward. Um, we urge you today to order the appraisals. If you don't order the appraisals, then nothing's going to happen. If you don't want to make a decision on it, order the appraisals and send them up to the governor. Order the appraisals and send them to the legislature. Let them take a look at what the, what the facts are. Let them have that information and to make decisions with. I was going to say, I hope that some of you guys took the time over our lunch break to maybe call the governor and ask him whether, whether maybe he wants to move forward on it. But uh, maybe not, but I hope that you guys will move forward on it today. Thanks. Thank you, Lisa. Lots of hands up uh, applauding your comments. Roy 